The next day, Caesar brings Junior in to help him work with Simon. Well, last time you guys saw Simon with the pig was not a very good scene. <laughs> and so today we're gonna go back to the pigs and the pigs are gonna walk them. I know, right? Who, who makes a pig walk a dog? Well, we do. Junior knows how to act around my pig so it can be a positive influence on Simon's behavior. They're realizing a dog is near them, but it doesn't want to go after them. As you see, the pigs are now moving around, screaming or becoming uncomfortable about it. This is a comfortable face. He's moving around, he's exploring, he's, he's doing his own thing. He doesn't want to be near the pigs, which is really good. But at the same time, we, we want him to be like Junior, close without having an intention to go after them. The next step is for Simon to get even closer in the pig's personal space without getting triggered. Come on, buddy. I want him more in the personal space. Avoidance. Good boy, Simon. That's a good boy. To finish this new imprint on Simon's mind, I'm gonna use a special helper. The same pig that Simon attacked is now going to take him for a walk. This way, I am making Simon a follower, not an aggressor. And this will create a new association about pigs for him. So what happens in this situation is this, the dog gets used to it and the pigs get used to him. And so what they learn is to coexist with each other. Now he's learning a different concept. You can follow a pig, you can be near a pig, you can eat with the pig. Don't eat the pig, but you can eat with the pig. Caesar repeats similar exercises with other animals at the DPC to help condition Simon to become a calm and submissive dog. Just a good boy.